From time to time, your sanitary control valve requires routine maintenance to ensure peak operating efficiency. This video will demonstrate the installation, calibration, and removal of the Burkert Type 8692 and 8694 electropneumatic positioners. It is important to abide by the following safety guidelines prior to performing maintenance on this equipment. Turn off electrical power, depressurize and de-energize this product. Wear proper personal protective equipment, PPE, that meets plant requirements and any applicable health and safety laws and regulations. Consult the product's instruction manual for further details. The components needed to complete installation of the Burkert positioner are shown here. These parts are used on a fully maintainable actuator. Adapter kits are available for maintenance-free actuators as well. Electro-pneumatic positioners can be easily retrofitted onto existing valves, especially to upgrade from fully pneumatic more positioners. Start with the bottom seal by applying a thin layer of silicone-based lubricant to the O-ring and install on the bottom side of the adapter. Turn the adapter over and install the gasket as shown. Ensure the gasket is properly orientated prior to installation. Note that the gasket should be installed dry without silicone lubricant. Next, check that the proper stem is installed in the actuator. This is identified by a small threaded hole located in the top of the indicator stem where the positioner's targeting system will be installed. If the threaded hole is not present, remove the stem and install the correct version. Position the adapter so that the notches on the bottom side of the adapter align with the threaded holes on top of the actuator and press into position. Apply a food-grade anti-seize compound to the threads of the hex screws provided. Next, with a 3 16 inch ball and hex wrench, apply a small amount of silicone lubricant to assist with holding the screws in position until threading can begin. Tighten until snug. Be careful not to over-tighten. Prepare the positioner targeting stem by applying a temporary thread adhesive compound as shown. Thread the positioner stem into the top of the indicator stem and snug with the aid of a straight screwdriver. Be careful not to over-tighten. Next, install the target puck sensor on the positioner stem by sliding it in place until a click is felt. Be sure to orient the puck sensor correctly, as shown. With the positioner head in hand, locate the targeting tracks inside of the positioner and orient the sensor puck so that it will ride in the tracks while placing the positioner onto the adapter. It is critical to the service of the positioner that the sensor puck is set into the guide tracks. This is a common troubleshooting step if the positioner causes faults. Applying downward force to the positioner with one hand while tightening the two 3mm hex head screws will ensure a watertight seal. Make final air and electrical connections as needed for your application. Consult the instruction manual for additional information on this topic. Your positioner is now ready for calibration and use. Begin the calibration process by removing the acrylic cover by turning it counterclockwise. Press and hold the menu button until the main menu appears. With the down arrow, highlight the X-Tune function. Press and hold the select button until the auto calibration function begins. The progress bar at the bottom of the display shows the status of the calibration process. Upon completion of the tuning process, the display will read, Tune Ready, as shown. The positioner is now ready for service, and the display can be cleared by pressing Exit three times. Be sure to put the positioner into Auto Mode if it will be used in process. If an error occurred during the X-Tune function, repeat the process. If an error continues, check to ensure that the air supply electrical connections, and target sensor are all connected properly. Tuning the 8694 model is very similar. 
However, only the X-Tune button needs to be pressed and held until the calibration process starts, which is indicated by flashing lights and sounds of the valve moving. Begin the removal process by disconnecting the power and communication cables, as well as air supply and air routing lines. With a 3mm hex wrench, loosen the hex head set screws at the base of the positioner. Apply downward pressure with one hand while loosening the screws to alleviate tension created by compression of the housing seal. After the hex head set screws have been loosened, Carefully remove the positioner head off the adapter, exposing the target puck sensor. Next, remove the puck sensor by gently sliding the sensor upwards. The targeting stem can now be removed with a flat screwdriver turned in a counterclockwise direction. The adapter is held in position by two 3 16 inch hex head screws inside of the adapter, as indicated by the arrows here. Once the hex head screws are located, they can be removed with the use of a ball end hex wrench, which will allow the adapter to be removed from the actuator. To order genuine replacement parts, please contact your authorized SPX Flow sales representative or visit www.spxflow.com/wcb for more information.